All right, guys, Kaz here, and I've got my cooking apparatus here. I'm going to show you how it is and how it works. Now, as you can see, it's a gravity-held system, and I can put pressure on this, and it's not going to fall down. Basically, what I have, I have a standard stud right here into the ground, and even though it's a little wiggly right now, it's only because it's not that secure. When I actually go to cook with it, it's going to be very secure. I'm going to put it about 12 inches into the ground. This is a gravity-held system suspended together by, by this support pole. Okay, and you can cook a couple things on this. The, the reason why you have this end out here is you can put a pot on the end, you can hang it down, or you can put a, put a big piece of meat on this end and cook it like that. Now, what's really great about this is, like I said, it's all gravity held. The only place that there's going to be cordage is here and here, and that's because I needed to make the support system, okay? Everything is notched together and then held by cordage. And this cordage is far enough away from the fire to where it's not gonna melt and cause this thing to fall apart. But this is very rigid. As you can see, it's gravity held. Now, if I want to adjust the pot, if there's a fire here, okay, and I wanna do something to what I'm cooking, I can just take the post and turn it, okay? And then what I can do is I can adjust the pot or do whatever it is that I'm cooking if I need to you know, flip the meat over or do whatever. Then once I'm done doing that, I can take it and I can turn it, put it back over the flame. If the flame were here, it'd be perfect, okay? Now, also, it, it, it's gravity, so I can actually take it apart. So I just simply unhook it, okay, just like that, and I can put it together just as fast. I can put it, and it's, there's a notch right here. You can put it together like that. And just that simple, see that? It's a gravity-held system. So that's how that works. It's a gravity-held system to cook your meal. I'm actually going to use this today to cook our meal for our camp. So I'm going to videotape that, and we're going to see how it actually works. All right, guys, here we are. We're back again, and we are working on the apparatus for my cooking crane. And right now, uh, here's what's going to be the uh, campfire, the cooking fire. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've dug a shallow oval hole. Now, I didn't dig a round hole. The, the reason why I dug an oval hole was because I need support on this wall right here. And the post that I have in my hand is going to be the post that holds the crane. And it's going to be flush against this wall so it doesn't fall into the fire. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pound this stake into the ground, and then I'm going to secure this pole into the ground. All right, guys, here is my cooking apparatus in action. As you can see, it's over the fire, and the apparatus is holding very well. And just want to give you a close-up of the uh, piece of beef that's on there. And uh, you can see that it's cooking really, really good. And uh, it's doing quite well, honestly. And I just want to back up a little bit so you guys can see that. And then I'm going to move around the fire here to give you a, a front view of what's going on. And uh, that's a great piece of meat that's on there. And this is called a cooking crane apparatus. And uh, it really turned out well. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, it's cooking over the steak really good. As we continue on, I'll let you know how it goes. Hey guys, we are here at Casverus Wild and uh, we're still cooking our steak on the crane and it's looking awesome. If you can check that out, it looks 
really, really good. It, it really does. Looks really, really good. Now, Ryan, <laughs> fixed by Doc, is now cooking some bread in a similar fashion, as you can see. He's got an inverted Y by a regular Y, and then this is a Y that's holding the bread. So uh, this is the first time trick that he's trying. He claims he's seen this on YouTube, so he's just trying to reenact the information that he has collected. And uh, so far, so good. Looks really good. So uh, just wanted to show you guys what, uh, what we're looking at. All right, guys, uh, we are all done cooking the steak, and uh, this is how it came out. We're about ready to uh, serve it, and it came out absolutely great. And here is Ryan's bread, and this came out really good, too. It looks really, really nice. And, uh, you know, everyone participated. Like I said, this is a community event, and uh, Anthony and his son offered up some uh, rice, and uh, they cooked it the survival style, so that's awesome. And uh, so everyone contributed it, you know, everyone had something to add to today's dinner. And uh, that's what Kaz vs. Waddle is all about. It's all about community and uh, sharing. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Everybody added something to today's meal. And it looks like we got one more thing to add, or is that just more rice? More rice. Okay, more rice. So, um, you know, everyone cooks something, and everyone's making an offering. So uh, it's just great. It's just great that uh, we all come together and uh, eat as a group. So let's eat, folks.